fellow YouTubers. Um, I have a topic that I'm posting now on all of my channels here on YouTube because I'm sort of too lazy to go to message boards online and um, discuss this. So, um, and I'm counting on all of you to be honest and give, you know, true assessments and not uh, sugarcoat anything. So, okay, uh, here it goes. Um, I am calling on all people, partial knee replacement and total knee replacement people, to contact me after you listen to my story. And uh, if you have any um, advice, um, if you know any, you know, just if you not, uh, let's see, any advice uh, can direct me to people who know something possibly. Okay. So, um, here's my sor story. Sad, but true. Not really sad, but true. I mean, it's life stuff. Um, okay. So when, um, I am currently 52 and I know I don't look like I'm in my fifties. Everybody thinks I'm in my thirties. I'm very well preserved for some reason, face wise. Um, but body wise, no, I'm 52 and I am acting like a 52 year old in a lot of ways. And, um, one of those ways and was self-imposed because I was, was, and still am somewhat of an overeater. I've, um, for many years I was obese and I had put a lot of wear and tear on my knees. When I was 40 years old, I had partial knee replacement on both of my knees. Um, I was edging towards requiring total knee replacement, but because I was only 40, they really don't like to do knee replacements on people that are below 60. Most of the people that have these total, total knee replacements and such are in their 60s. The reason why is, is because the, re, the knees are only, the replacement's only going to last for a certain number of years, and then afterwards, you're kind of screwed. So they like, they try to anticipate, because most people will hopefully live into their 70s and such, so they anticipate, um, they don't want to have a person who's going to be um, in their 70s, 60s or 70s, who can't use their knees now at all, because they already had tonal knee replacement. So I had partial knee replacement in both knees in when I was about 40 years old. I am now 52 years old, and um, I am starting to develop a lot of osteoarthritis in my other areas of my knees. And I am ta I get cortisone shots in my knees every three months now. So even you know like uh, even though I have partial knee replacement, the other compartments of my knees are starting to get wear and tear as well. So I, I get those injections for cortisone, and I also get something. I think it's called orthovisc or something. It's something which replaces. Um, um, so the material to pr to create new cartilage, it sort of acts like cartilage, that, that is what's being lost in osteoarthritis, and um, so I get those injections as well, and so my knees are sort of like, um, believe it or not, even with all that now, I don't have any pain hardly at all, because I take Celebrex, which is one of those really good anti-inflammatory medications, and I take a Celebrex every day, and between the injections of cortisone and the injections of trying to replace the cartilage and stuff, I'm at, I have no problems with my knees. You know, if, if I didn't have all that stuff done, I would be not being able to walk. It's, you know, really bad arthritis is like really bad pain and stuff. And, um, so I've been very lucky. Um, you la uh, on Sunday, this past Sunday, I was at my father's house and I fell. I slipped. It was, you know, my own fault. I slipped. Accidents happen. And, um, uh, first, like the knee, I, I banged my knee and the knee hurt very much. Um, but by Monday, it didn't hurt at all. Monday night, though, my knee swelled up like a baseball. 
And I couldn't believe it. And Victor, he he used to play sports when he was younger. He was like a basketball player and stuff. So like he he was lucky though. He never had an injury that where the knee blew up. But he he said, oh yeah, those guys, lots of guys, their knees blow up. You know, when they had an injury, then it goes back down and it goes up and down. And you know, then when they feel better, they go play basketball again. So um, I didn't think like much of it. I took Advil, and the Advil helped it go back down. But then what happened was was that um, while it would be fine and then I would walk on it normally no pain by that evening or the next day the knee blew up again and I and it was horrid pain like super really bad pain when um when you're in pain just sitting there and it's horrible it, it it's awful total awful you're not even using your knee you're just sitting there and it's throbbing and it's swollen and it hurts and nothing you could do you can't find a position to sit or lay in it's horrible so um, I had taken, um, Victor had some narcotics, so I had to take his narcotics. Anyway, I went to the um, um, my orthopedic surgeon, the one who gives me my injections. So I have a surgeon already that I've been going to for a number of years. He's the one also who did um, my partial knee replacements and he's the one who gives me all my shots and my knees and and stuff and says look you know Natalie you're gonna have to have a total knee replacement and we're putting it off as much as we can but you have you know severe arthritis and this is not the stuff that you're using now it's not going to be lasting forever where you're going to have relief some time at some point it's not going to work anymore and he's you know always on my back you have to lose weight that's the best thing you can do for yourself first of all and um do that and like at least that's less pain and less you know pounds that you're putting on your knees every day and I have been and that'll be another video <laughs> but um but so he's just trying to put it off you know until I get into my 60s and he doesn't think that he's going to he said you know like sometimes when a person is severely you know obese has severe osteoarthritis for you know for whatever their reason is it's so so bad that we have to do it before you're 60 years old and he said that he has a few patients that um, he has, you know, he says his page, the ones who have, you know, the total new replacements are all in their sixties or seventies. He even had somebody in their eighties who he, um, did total knee replacement on, but he said he has a few patients that are obese, even younger than me, or, you know, in their fifties that he has to end up doing total knee replacement for. Um, my query right now is I want to, uh, is there anybody out there who's had partial knee replacement like me? Um, and it, I don't think it really matters which compartment, you know, how there's three compartments in the knee, um, no matter which compartment was replaced. Is there anybody that, out there who has had partial knee replacement and now they're starting, you know, over the, you know, the, the partial knee replacement is still doing okay. Um, but, um, they're starting to develop osteoarthritis. Anybody out there? I haven't been able to find anybody. I actually, what I did was I, I, um, on one of my blogs, I did a search for anybody in the New Jersey area who is a patient of my doctor, Dr. Kale, and um, to see whether or not, you know, and literally nobody answered. Um, and I knew, I didn't think anybody would. I mean, what are the chances that they'd even find, you know, but I didn't, I, so I started doing that um, about three months ago, and I got no response, which I'm not surprised about. And, um, cause I mean, what are the chances that I could find somebody, you know, <laughs> like just through my blog and the doctor's office, um, actually has online, they have some sort of blog, but, um, I don't, I don't really trust that one because who knows if people are really going to be honest, um, in terms of patients testimonials, because, I mean, they're only going to be posting the patient testimonial of somebody who had success. And not, every, not everybody is a success. You know, you hope that you are and you work towards it and you pray that you will be. But, you know, the people that are suing Dr. Kale, because every doctor has patients that are suing them, they weren't a success. You know, I, want, I just wanted to find real people who have had partial knee replacements and now they are heading towards having a total knee replacement and, um, uh, preferably like somebody around my age, if not, I mean, again, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not going to find a, a duplicate clone of me, but 
anybody out there, please PM me um, from whatever group you're reading this in. You know, I belong to like five groups on YouTube, and I know there's people of all ages and all genders, um, pretty much on all the groups. So, um, and I haven't found yet actually a group online specifically for knee replacement. Like, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of, um, videos about people talking about their knee replacement, whether it's partial or total, but I was sort of just really trying to find somebody specific, someone who's had a partial one and is now heading towards, um, a total knee replacement. You know, the doctor talks about it, but of course he only speaks usually about the positive benefits of it and you really don't hear about the negatives until usually the day of the surgery when you have to sign all the paperwork and you have to say that um, you realize that you might die during the procedure or you might have a blood clot or a stroke or a heart attack and you're willing to take that risk you know so because they need that for their paperwork because in case something happens they have to show that you signed it, you know, when the lawsuit comes, because your, your family is going to sue, and they have to, sh you know, so that's part of the thing that they need, you know, for their case. So, um, in any case, anybody out there sound like me? Anybody out there know someone who sounds like me? Um, uh, please direct them my way. You know how to reach me, you know, on my channel name and such. Thank you for listening, and um, here's to uh, healthy needs healthy knees, and other healthy body parts too. Amen. Okay, bye everyone.